light is a little much. Is it? Yeah. Are we live? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, you can't. Is there any way you can put the link to the YouTube in the chat? I can't get it off of my phone to here. I believe so. Let's see. The link to the YouTube is right here. Attention, please. No battery. Just copying that and pasting right now. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, the chats are right here. All right. Wait, you're too, that's the chat for the YouTube. <laughs> Hold on. To do the chat for the uh, Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I'll okay. Well, for the viewers watching at that. home, we, we have a WebEx uh, thing going on over here as well as a YouTube stream. And we're going to be open for questions, uh, for visuals. If you guys want to show us what you're up to, uh, we can just have some fun with this. All right. I guess um, if anybody has any audio issues or any kind of, I guess, computer performance issues, just let myself know. I'll let Kate know. Yeah. I can see the participants on the screen. Yeah. I believe so. Okay, so I just posted the YouTube link in the in the WebEx chat if you don't have it. Okay, I think it's seven. We'll start. Does everyone have their supplies? <laughs> I think so. Oh, maybe they're all on mute. All right, I'm just going to begin. So, you can hear that? Then I won't be able to hear them with questions. Okay. There we go. So what we're going to do, uh, first of all, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Ray Charbacci. i an uh, old-time friend of Kate. We've known each other forever. Um, well, we're pretty excited to do this for you guys uh, for State Street Bank in Boston. Um, Kate, if you could tell me a little bit about what you do and what the group's all about, that, that'd be kind of sweet. Yeah, this is the Irish American Professional Network. We usually get together a lot in person and um, celebrate Irish culture, but We've been having to get creative, and uh, this virtual paint night with the Clips of More is our an exciting, uh, exciting way to spend some time together and celebrate a beautiful Irish scene. There you go. Yeah. And it is a party, so we're going to try to have some you know, mm -hmm. some beverages if, if you guys are up for that. I'm going to see if I can get Kate to drink a little bit more than she wants to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But what we are going to do is paint this. If you guys have not seen, there's a sample online. All right, there is a uh, tutorial and there's also just a quick time lapse. Um, quick shout out on the time lapse is a. Uh, yeah, there you go. Music compliments of Project N Star K, a great local Boston band. They got an album coming out this uh, end of June. I just want to give them a shout out and a thank you for the music rights. Yeah. Uh, a little bit about me. Uh, I, I'm right here in Foxborough, um, not far from Attleboro. I think we have a couple other participants who are in Foxborough as well. Um, recently, I'm going to boast myself, I was voted right here, one of the top instructors uh, <laughs> from Lessons.com. Oh, there you go. Ooh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lessons.com, top 10 instructors. So that's who you're dealing with today, guys. <laughs> All right. So as far as the painting goes, there's a couple tricks that I had up my sleeve. I Initially, I uh, found some images on YouTube that I was running by Kate and seeing if this is along the lines of what we're going to do. If you guys wanted to print out pictures in addition to this, it might you know, kind of influence, influence you in one way or another. You don't have to, um, but some of the things that I did was I, I found an image that I liked. It's pretty good, but then again, it was very far away. You couldn't get out a whole lot of these details. So then I put that picture aside. I found a second picture, all right, and I felt like, oh, this is a nice set of details, I like the ocean, but it's very left heavy. It doesn't really capture a lot of details. So I came up with a happy medium. I found a third image and I like it a lot, but I couldn't steal it. I couldn't just copy it exact. I had to do a little photography, a little Photoshop work, add some water, add some things in the sky. And that was basically my gist. That's how I came up with what we got here. But the good news is that you guys don't have to tell anybody where your sample came from. When you show it off, you can just uh, you know, say, hey, look what I did off the top of my head. Yeah. Because I'm awesome. All right. <laughs> All right. We're going to go over materials. I'm just going to put this aside. This is fun. You having fun? Good. <laughs> materials. Okay. We were gifted a box uh, from Falling in Art. Okay. This box contains 24 colors. Uh, I'll just call them out one at a time as we use them. There's a little bit of extra white that came with it. Yeah. It came with a, a plate, a mixing plate. Right. And also a. A knife. I feel like the, the lighting is super bright. Can you guys uh, 
on WebEx. Can you see everything clearly? I guess we'll have to unmute them, right, to find out. <laughs> Let's see. Is off timing here? Sorry, YouTube. The audio is off. Live stream. Sorry, YouTube. The audio is off. <laughs> the one I'm watching is the live stream, and it's like YouTube showing pictures of the cliffs. But you yeah, can't see. Paused it a minute ago. Ah. All right. Is that what I should be watching? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna give you. Yeah, let's close the WebEx down, okay? And then we'll just do the YouTube. And then if there's any issues, just use the the chat, okay? Because I think it's too many. Um, too many things going on. Yeah, I just feel like the live stream went ahead, though. I was kind of like, it was off awesome what you were talking about. It's not, it's you didn't not miss falling it. in line with what you're saying. Okay. You can actually scroll ahead on the YouTube, and it will say live. This is wacky. I should just do this, right? All right, so we're going to shut off the WebEx, okay? All right, WebEx gone. Sorry about that. Powering off. Okay. Oh, glares. Look at that. Look how professional we are. <laughs> All right. Nope, still there. Okay, we should be able to see. Give a thumbs up if you can see us. <laughs> hear us. <laughs> I think so. I think everybody's going to be able to see and hear us. So. Um, let's get started. So, uh, in terms of brushes, we were given several. Um, you know, I, I tend to start off with the, w the wider square ones, mm -hmm. um, just because I want to cover a lot of ground at first and I'm going to use the wider brush that I have. So if you guys look at your sets of brushes, it is number 12. All right. I a couple people have slightly different sets, but you know, it's the bigger one. Yeah. So. And you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it is uh, what I'm going to be going for. And I'm just going to instruct step by step. So one of the first things that I wanted to do is kind of balance off my um, canvas with crosshairs. Uh, Sorry, one thing, I'm getting ahead of myself. We have ourselves cups of water. You will need that. You can throw your brush right in it. We also have some paper towels. You're probably gonna wanna have those laying around as well. Um, but we don't have any paint on here, so let's let's start with that. I'm gonna suggest you take your white and you use, uh, you put half the tube in there. We're gonna use quite a bit of white today. The good news is that this is acrylic paint and it it kind of runs thin, so all you need is a little bit of water and it's going to last a long time. All right, so for those at home, uh, I don't know if you can Can't see it. it. <laughs> yeah, it's super white on white. Yeah. White on white, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, and some of the other colors that we're going to be dealing with. Where'd the painting go? There it is. Can you see that? Yeah, all right. First thing I'd like to do is grab some yellow, and we're just gonna what I say, what I, I refer to as map out the the canvas, where we're just gonna have placement. And I'm gonna take my my brush. I like to kind of shake it off or wipe it on my paper towel to make sure that there's no excess moisture in there. And with water, not not dripping, but with a little bit of water, I'm gonna take just a very little bit of yellow. All right, and I'm gonna literally put crosshairs, just center, center, right there. So just an, a cross in the center? Yeah. Does it have to go all the, the way to the edges or not? No. Okay. No. Good question. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like it's if everything's washed out here. Right? You can't really see anything. Well, it's going to be tough to see yellow, but what I've done is I've created a cross right here in the center. And what that does is that's going to help me designate the front and the, the foreground and the background. Okay? So to the left of the center line, so whether you can see it or not, here's the center. You're going to have three cliffs from there over to the left. Yes, thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so right around the center is where the, the rock formation is going to be in terms of top to bottom. So if I were to start off on the left-hand side around here, uh, I would give myself one cliff. And I'm doing it in yellow so that when we paint over it later, it will be it will disappear. I wonder if you could see better with those. Probably. Yeah. Let's shut that one off. Uh, we need to get closer. Yeah. Well, it'll start making sense when, when the colors start showing up. Okay. So we're we have an X, and now we're drawing a box. Yep. So what I'm going to do is have somewhat of a box here on the left hand side. I'm going to do it in green just because you guys can't see it. All right. So you do that. I'm going to show it up close. Okay. 
Here is what I'm going to consider one cliff. Oh my god. It's got so blue. So it's just this little box over here. Yes. Okay. And when looking at the sample, what we just really pretty much did was this cliff right in here. All right, just this one off to the side on the left. All right, now when it comes to the cliffs, the biggest thing that I notice is that they're staggered. As they go off to the right, they get a little bit smaller and smaller. Not, I mean, our perspective of them gets a little bit smaller and smaller. So from this rock, we want to carry over to the right, but I, won't, I don't want it to be as tall. And I, so I'm going to start a little bit lower. And then also on the bottom, I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to come up a little higher. And I'm going to round that off as if it's a cliff, or at least a block. Let's see here. Is now? No. <laughs> it's the overhead light. I think it's that overhead light. There's a dimmer. <laughs> no, put it back halfway ish. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's good. I think. No. Nope. <laughs> All right, well, we spent 11 minutes on the lighting. This is, uh, this is interesting. Okay, so this is where we are now. So we have. Two boxes. Good, thank you. <laughs> I'll do that too, I'll get a little bit closer. Yours might be a little better. Um, <laughs> nice. So what I'm gonna do is come up with a third box and that's gonna end right around the center. It can go a little beyond it if, if you have the room. But the reason I'm starting off with three like this is because these three are gonna be what I consider the foreground. They're gonna be closer to you. The remaining ones that go over here are going to be further in the distance. And these ones here are gonna be more on the blue, cooler side of the paint spectrum here. So, right, so show yours close up. Yeah. yeah. You know what, maybe we can move this whole thing forward since the TV's not working anymore. Right? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. There we go. We're back. See it. <laughs> okay. The next set of mountains, or excuse me, cliffs, you're going to go to the right of that. And I'm going to switch to a blue color. All right. So what I've got here is cerulean blue. Is that like a navy? It's, uh, a lighter blue. it's kind of a medium blue. So like a State Street volunteer shirt blue. Say that again? The State Street volunteer shirt blue is what we want. Oh, yeah. Everyone. Not that. the original, not the new one. Okay. All right. I can't see you at all, Kate. There we go. Okay. All right. So we got blue here. Yeah, we're going to go with a little bit of blue. Still the same brush? Yes. Thank you. You can still use the same brush. Um, Sand. Yeah, go for it. So the next set of, uh, like again, the next set of cliffs are smaller and they kind of fan out in the distance. So I'm going to create, you know, another one over here that's on the, that's blue. A smaller one that kind of drifts out. So like wider, okay. Yeah, they just kind of get smaller and smaller as they go out into the distance. Alright. And we're not going all the way to the edge? Um, no, I wouldn't. I mean, you certainly can if you'd like to, but I've actually, that's a good question. I, I left about an inch or two inches off to the side here where it's not touching the edge. Is this okay? Looks awesome. Yeah, I okay, think so. There we go. Ooh. One thing is that you got a flat um, orientation here where you may just want to take this one and kind of lower it. See how they're kind of oh, so it's staggered on the top and staggered on the bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of far away and close, that means temperature, right? So in the paint world, temperature is a hue. It's warm or it's cool. So what we're going to do is switch to a warm green. And that is right here. It's called permanent green light. Permanent green light. Okay. So this is like a frog, Kermit the Frog green. Kermit the Frog green. I'll take it. You know, you can even lighten this oh, up it's even more. Irish -y, yeah. I like it. I'm, just, I'm still using the same brush. We're going we're to change brushes up as we go. Um, but what I'd like to do with these cliffs here to the right is kind of designate where the grass is visible. It's definitely visible on the top of the hill. A cliff, excuse me, I keep saying that. And actually, it runs down the sides like this. Um, there are some patches along the way. They're like these little streaks of green that are within the mountain, oh, within the cliff. But primarily, they're right here on the top and on the side. Okay, and you can see that this green here is 
what do you call it? A Kelly Green? An Irish Green? Yeah, Kelly Green. Kelly Green, okay. All right. Some other things I could do is I can include some of the yellow that we poured earlier. Now I'm going to have a yellowish green. And I can just start to come up with some striations. The whole thing with these rocks, that's essentially what they are. They're rocks with grass growing on them, right? So the textures that you see in here are just going to be all bumpy. They're going to be choppy and blotchy. So you don't really have to paint anything smooth. It's just going to be like a tap tap type of application. Right now, all I'm doing is mapping it out, just showing you where it will be. Um, you can actually put some of this, the darker green. We have two greens going, right? Yeah. The darker green can, can act as the grass on the other cliffs to the right. Which one was that? Uh, I'm I set that aside as not permanent green. Tallow? Tallow? Hmm, that's a good question. What am I using here? Now I was using looks like sap green. Okay. All right. This difference of warm and cold, it's it's not going to be super noticeable when we're done. Mm -hmm. But if we do the work up front, it'll, it'll pay off. Um, so what I'd like to do is along with the greens, we're going to get some browns in there. So within this case, you got all kinds of browns. So try to find the lightest one you can get. To me, it looks like that one is called cadmium yellow hue. No, that's that's yellow. Okay, not that one. Raw sienna? Raw sienna, perfect. Winner. All right, and I'm not using much, everybody. I'm just using like a pea size or more, a little bit more. Still a big brush. Yep, still using the big brush, but you can see compared to my brush how big that little blotch is, and it's it's not huge. You don't need to use the whole tube. But what I'm going to do with this brown is start to paint those textures, some of these striations that we were doing earlier. I've rotated my brush so that instead of being wide like this, it's on an angle like this. It makes it thinner. So my markings will be small. I'm getting close, and I'll show you what I mean. Rather than, well, don't do this, but don't paint this wide, right? You, you, what you do is you come over here, you rotate your brush and you paint that wide, right? It's a much thinner line. So that is how you're going to end up getting some of these brown marks. So we do it on all the cliffs. I would do it on the first three. First three. The okay. first three, yeah. You know what? And if we wanted to mix this brown and with a little bit of blue, it's going to start to get messy, but you can do that on the next batch of cliffs. The whole point here is separation of warm and cool. It's the same type of painting. It's the same application the whole time. It's just picking and choosing which greens and browns to use. All right. The mountains, honestly, they'll, they'll form. They'll, they'll come along as we go. Okay. All right. Um, one thing I like to do is add a little bit of white to that light brown. So if I'm going to show you guys at home uh, this light brown, I'm taking about a chunk. Yay big. Uh-oh. There we go. A little glitch. You're frozen, yeah. And I'm also going to add about equivalent white and mix them together. And you are now getting a very light brown. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do that. These are some of the rocks that are going to be without grass. So besides the light brown marks that you made, we're going to put lighter brown marks. Any questions? Um, so if people are like need a little bit more time, can they pause the live stream? Yes. Okay, so if you're like behind and you, or you need to step away, you can pause and you can just pick up when you get back. Yep. So just a little note. Good call. All right. The more I look at the sample, the more I, I see. I feel like I want a skinnier brush now. Is that sure. Cool? Yeah, you can switch it up anytime you like. Okay. Um, this one's a little. I'm going to start to add darker browns into this. Essentially, with every color that we use, green, brown, anything, especially with the blues later, we're going to have three variations of that color. We're going to have a dark a medium, and a light. So as of right now, we really just have, and I mean that within a cluster. So within here, I'm using one green and two browns, right? I can take the existing paint with the yellow and the green, and even with the brown, I can make a whole new color. This is a lighter green, add a little white to it. So what I'm doing now is I'm expanding off of existing colors. I got a green here that I can easily make darker or lighter. You know, likewise, a brown. I can make it darker or lighter, or just simply pick another. Don't give us so many options here. Okay, all right. I'm just letting keep you know. It's too keep, many. Keep it simple. To keep it simple. Along the top of the cliff, I'm going to have the lighter grass, is what all that jibber jabber <laughs> was about. All right, light grass, top cliff. Light form. Yep. Okay. This is like a yellowish green. 
brass. And I'm just, again, just kind of tapping to get some texture. We're gonna finesse this in ways later that kind of make the mountains stand out. How many times did I call them mountains? Cliffs. Right? Cliffs, cliffs. All right. Is this okay? Uh, that's looking good. I think so. Okay. All right. What did we do with the comments? Did we get rid of those? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's saying, hi, Daddy. <laughs> if anyone has any questions or comments, if everything's going okay, put something in the chat just so we know we're not... We're not, uh, we're not alone, alone here. We're not alone yeah. here yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. This is coming along pretty fast, I think. Um, so, yeah. If do you we need to stop for like, a drink? Yes. All right. Let's have a cheers. Yes. That's a great idea. Okay. I brought some Irish drinks. Right, oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> okay. All we, right. got, we have Guinness. Guinness. Oh, no, no, not that one. Jameson. <laughs> Dailies. I think you guys would know where I'm going with this. For political correctness reasons, we're, we're not going to name this beverage. We know the name, but we're not going to say it. And for those that have never done this before, we're mixing the three. Are we good to do this, Kate, on, on, on work we're not, hours? We're not doing it on life. Either. Come on. No. But everyone, if you want to stop for a drink, we'll, we'll do that, too. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna do one. <laughs> no. We'll keep painting, and I'll set this up, and I'll call you it's out. A good time to change your water out, get some fresh water. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> That's about right. Half. Okay. I'm not gonna make sure not to drink the, the wrong drink here. Oh, I wouldn't run your drink. I mean your paint. All right. I'm going for it, Kate. All right, you do it. Yes. We got that one. We got this one. I can't open it, that's a sign. Don't do it. There we go. You're gonna add that to that. Cheers. Cheers. Slancha. Oh. <laughs> Gone. All right. Ah. Here we go. Now we're ready for painting. Let's get back to painting. It's a nice break. I like it. <laughs> All right. So we did our light green grass on the top. Yes. And now... Yeah, all right, so I got a couple greens going on, but what I want to do now is shift over to browns. We started using a light brown, but now I'd like you to take out a dark brown. Burnt umber, it looks like it's the darkest one. Burnt umber, okay. Megan, thanks for the thumbs up. Yeah, thanks, Megan, appreciate it. You rock. I'm now going with a darker one, though, burnt umber. Uh, and what I'm going to do with this is start to create um, some kind of shadow, some type of separation. And I'm gonna start using a small brush. This one here is number four. It's got a pointed edge to it. Smallest one? It looks like the smallest one, yeah. Yeah, little one. So I've taken this much of the brown, this burnt umber here. And what I'm really gonna do is just focus on the bottom of the mountain. Oh, cliff. Bottom of the cliff. Cliff, cliff. And I'm gonna add these these lines, these like rigid strike lines that kind of overlap in certain ways. Do a close up. Yeah, I'm gonna get this closer to the, to the camera here. You see, they're not very clean. They're just kind of like these sloppy, just line, 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 and then you move over here. Line, not line. all at the bottom or all at the bottom? For now, we're gonna go all at the bottom. But the big reason we're doing this is to continue the separation between the first and the second. So I'm gonna put my dark brown on the second rock right in there mm -hmm. on the on the left hand side of it and then I'll carry that down into the bottom a little bit more likewise on the, the next rock in I want to make sure this one here in the middle stands out so I have to add brown to the side of the third one and then bring some of this brown in and what you see is that starts to give you that stagger of cliff one two three and we're going to continue that logic 
but we may need to darken the brown. So if you want to just go with that brown or a similar brown, you can. Uh, you can even bring some of those up higher, closer to the tops of the cliffs where the grass is. Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of bounce around, but don't get too carried away. It, you, what am I looking to say here? You can't really get too carried away, but at the same time, I just I, I suggest you do a little and wait. Are we just doing the first three? Um, for all of them? Yeah, you know what? That's a good question. I just did the first three. I'm going to do the next three, but I'm going to make them bluer, if that makes sense. So I'm going to take that same brown that I used and that cerulean blue that we already have and mix those two together. It's pretty dark. It's kind of muddy, but it should be on the cooler side. So if I apply the same logic, it should make sense color-wise. That's a bluish brown. Yep. And honestly, if you were to stop right here and don't touch the mount, the cliffs at all, you still they're going to be identifiable, right? We're going to know what this is, especially when we add the water in the sky. From now on, it's going to start to take shape. And it's kind of the fun part. I mean, there's no right or wrong way to do it. I say paint a rock. How do you paint a rock? Just textures, colors, bumps, all kinds of different variations in, in what you're doing. So like I was saying before, I got green on there, but I want at least three greens, dark, medium, and light. So looking at what I have, I say, you know what, I'm going to go lighter. And yours might be different. Maybe you might have to go darker. But what I'm going to do is take my dirty brush with the yellow and come back to the top and give this more of a warmer yellower type of grass. I might even use just straight up yellow since the paint's already wet. And I can bring that down to the right hand side of the cliff as well. I'm not sure if I like that a whole lot. I'm going to try it again <laughs> with green and white with different colors and see what that does on the next one. And I take it back. I like the yellow. It's nice. It's warm. Yeah, warm. That's what we're going for. Warm on this side, cool on that side. Okay. Warm, it right. up. warm it up. Exactly. So now I should have about two greens on here. I want to push it where I have a warm, I'll call that one a medium. So now I need a dark, right? Already have it. Just right from the tube, this green that we were using earlier. And just somewhere near the brown, somewhere near the other white, you just kind of add these little striations. And if you look at the sample that was uh, given to you guys, and zoom in just to one rock, forget everything else. If you look at just the one rock, there's a lot of like nonsense going on here. This patch of green next to this patch of brown next to light brown, all these little variations are important because that's what overall sells the image, right? As just as long as you have an indication of here's your edge of the first one and the second one and so on. So we're getting there. This, we're actually gonna, we're gonna revisit this when we, okay. when we move uh, on. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly kind of fill can't them in. Can't mess it up, right? You can't. Good. What we're going to phase into now is try to get rid of the white space that's inside. It doesn't have to look its best right now, but you want to have coverage. So All green right? or greens and browns and yellows. And I'm getting sloppy. I'm getting I'm tapping over some of the existing artwork and it's making it like muffled. It's tough to explain, but I didn't keep that clean, crisp line anymore. It's like I'm taking these lines and I'm just kind of moving them around, adding here and there, you know without too much thought. I just don't want to have too much similarity. All right, so what kind of tips do you have for an amateur here? For this amateur, none. That looks pretty good, actually. Okay. I like the way you did the, the lines here. They stand out. You still have some white spots in between. So maybe if you just take like a, okay. a dark. You know what we should do is get black. And we're going to add a little bit of black to that brown. Black, black, black. Very, very little bit. Is there black? You can use this one. Uh, it says ivory black. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ivory black. Now I'm using a very, very tiny little bit of black paint with some brown. I mix them together, and it should be darker. Not, not a lot darker. I don't want it to look black. So you're mixing it with brown. Brown and black. Yep. Just a small a little dark touch. Brown. Yeah, I'm going for this one here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That with like a touch of the black, not much. All right, and I should have a dark, dark brown. If it's too dark, you can always put some brown back into it. But this is where I would go back into those uh, little areas we talked about earlier where the separation needs to happen. Okay. And what it's doing now is pushing the contrast. Right now I have an idea of one, two, and three, but this is really gonna make it drastic. But don't use too much of this, my dog, because you don't want all this darkness in the, in the painting. You just 
need enough of it to separate the clips. All right. Ooh. We can, uh... Like it us. Yeah, it's kind of fun. And just me personally, what I'm seeing is that now that I've gone with two dark browns, I'm going to go back to my light brown just to mix it up to make sure that I'm getting a wide range. What's cool about these clips is they got these like land spots where you can see just rock. Have you ever been? Yes, I've been. If you've been, let us know in the chat. Yeah. If, uh, let's see. What do I know about these things? I hear they're the northwest side of the island. Is that true? They're near the Shannon Airport. Because I usually go. The what airport? The Shannon Airport. I go Shannon Airport. After the red eye. So okay. I'm usually tired when I go here. Okay. So again, again, good news about being on YouTube is that you can pause this, take a break, come back to it, and we're still going to be available for you to watch. Um, for those that are just going muscling through and just doing it live with us, I'm going to start to transition into other parts of the painting, uh, and we can come back and revisit this. Where's that all white? Where? Right here? Yeah. I, I haven't done we it yet. You're not done. No, no. So this is because these three here are the warmer ones, and I still have to work on the cooler ones. So I can put the blue and the greens together to get some teals. All right, so if I mix a little bit of blue and green, I got like this kind of a teal. These are the colors you're going to want to be using out here. Cool. All right. And once you put your water in the, in the painting, you'll know if you're going to have to push colors around a little bit more out here. So blue is cool. Yes, cool blues and warm blues. What's a cool green? Uh, yeah, cool green, which kind of turns into like a light teal or a dirty okay. teal. It Now that I fill, I fill these in, there's really a subtle difference. There's not like a huge jump between these three and these three, but I think it's an important step to, to do this. Hey, no one's blowing up your text or your phone or anything like that, so this is good. Everyone seems like they're getting it. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. Let's take, <laughs> let's take these. Megan's uh, all in. Yeah, Megan. What's up with you, Maureen and Howard? Come on, say something to us. I can't hear you. <laughs> nice. All right. Okay, we're gonna speed things along. I can always go back and, and change this, but now what we're gonna do is add some blue. I'm gonna go to a new clean brush, a, so, flat, a flat one. Flat one. And to me, that is the number six. Six. Number six. So, so are we doing the ocean or the sky? Good question, we're doing both. Okay. Oh, first we forgot to do this. This little island, this little, oh, yeah. not an island, what, what would you call that? Structure. Mm, don't know. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> essentially it's the same as the, the ones in the foreground. So let's do that. Let's do that, exactly. All right, so we'll do our little. I'm going to go back to my other brush. Small island. Yes. And I'm going to use the same greens and browns that I did before. What's the starting structure that, like, do we do a little triangle out there? It, yeah, honestly, it's probably like a. A box with a triangle on top, not quite like a cartoon house, but like if I have this as a width, it's not too much taller. And I'm gonna grab some brown and kind of round it out, something like that. And I believe there's a little like ledge on the side of it, something like this. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a body of land, and it's gonna make sense when all the water's around it. And should be warm or cool? I think warm. Okay. Maybe yellow. Yeah. One thing I noticed though on my sample here, the original that that we're copying, that this cliff right in here, it could actually have a darker indentation if you wanted. There, there are parts of these cliffs that have that. I don't know what to call it, but this okay. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. But like, if you're looking at this cliff here, there's like an inlet. There's like a nook. I didn't do that, but if you did want to do that, no, let's keep it simple. Keep, keep it simple. Keep it simple. It is simple. Just do this. Oop, I have like a door. <laughs> Not a door, but a darker area, a darker little smudge, something like that. All right, let's do the water. Yeah, let's do water. water. Number six, brush six. Brush six, where'd it go? Okay. Medium flat brush. So the water, I think, is very fun, very forgiving. Whatever we do in the sky, we're going to do in the, in the water, essentially. And let's get our blues out. We, I'm going to go back to the cerulean blue. Okay, and you, you can put a decent amount um, on your palette. If you're running out of space, just use the edges. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, let's 
So what we're gonna do, it's all about texture, okay? The sky and the water, they just gonna have this loose back and forth wishy-washy style to them. And to make it go fast, what I would do is I would grab a scoop of white. You see how that kind of covers up that brush? Grab a scoop of white and on that same brush, grab a scoop of blue. So now you have two scoops, one brush. You can see that. And what I'm gonna do is start off in the water and just kind of make a mark like this. For me, I, I like to make them in little like curls, like smiley faces, okay? Because a smile or a frown, whatever, right next to it like that, that's a very cartoon looking wave. But that's the right idea. I'm going to do that and again and again. And I'm just going to scatter. I'm going to walk around as I do this like wrist, like I don't know what was a composer's would do with the uh, yeah, conductor. Yeah, yeah, conductor. There you go. Yeah. So I'm not going to come up with a pattern. I don't want to make it the same boring like line, line, line. I'm going to go over some of the work that I've done. Just random. Just kind of random. But as long as you have some type of curvature, I think you'll be good. You don't want to do... Anything vertical, nothing up and down. This is all horizontal. All right, and now that I've got a good amount of blue on there, I'm gonna go back and take white. Well, excuse me, I'm gonna grab some water. It's getting a little bit dry. Water, and I'll take white only. And with white only, I'm gonna visit the negative space. As you can see all around this blue that there's some areas I haven't painted. So you get in there and just get it with white. It will not stay white. They will smudge. And that's all right. I kind of want it to look streaky. You can kind of see that, that little messy little pattern. And what's nice is as you're doing that in the ground, oh, excuse me, as you're doing that in the water, you can repeat that in the sky directly above. So if there's this- the same? Pretty much, pretty much. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change blues. Okay. This blue here is gonna be lighter than a different blue. All right, also you'll notice, you can just dunk your brush in water, and with water only, you can paint, you can move it around. All right, I'm gonna have to overlap my yellow cross a little bit better. I'm gonna put, yeah, some, my I'm gonna put some white on top of it, and it's almost gone. All right, and likewise, take some white and spread that around. Just take that blue that's in there and just kind of spread, but give it some choppiness to it. When it comes to the tops of the cliffs, you do want to be a little careful around them. You don't want to cover up your work. If you do, it's okay. We're going to revisit the mountains anyway. Cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> the mountains. The mountain oh, cliffs, yeah. yeah. Let's see, maybe if I do this. Okay. Now, you guys are going to need a few minutes to get that done, and that's cool. Um, one of the next steps, is to get a different blue, okay? I'm gonna take a look at cobalt blue. You're not very bald. Yeah, I know, I gotta get my big head in this thing. Yeah, let's push it back. Oh, it's a, no, let's move this one back. Now that we can see the picture. Yeah. There you go, now you're in there. Now we're both in, right? Yeah, okay. Shift that over so <laughs> okay, that only took, what, 30 minutes? Less me, more you. <laughs> All right. No, you get in it too. <laughs> no. I'm trying, That's all right, fine. all right, yeah, fine. All right. Oh no. All right. So we want to fill every bit of space, or yeah. Now the only thing is the the sky is, excuse me, is not going to be as choppy. It's not going to be as, as sloppy. Yeah, it's a little bit more elongated, a little bit smoother, a little bit more water to help move the paint around. All right. White and water will pretty much do the trick. You don't need a whole ton of blue. Now that I've got this blue on the sky, I am overlapping a little bit of the cliffs, and the same blue is down below, I'm gonna visit a different blue. I'm saying, well, I'm just gonna try cobalt. All right, so I'm gonna put a little dab of cobalt uh, and experiment. It's a little darker, which is fine. So I'm gonna add cobalt blue and white, and I'm gonna start off on the right-hand side, way over here where it's supposed to be cooler. And the same thing, I'm gonna make those same brush marks, but they're gonna be shorter. The waves that are closer to you are gonna look big, the ones that are farther away are gonna look small, and the only way to do that is just the same gestures, just much smaller, like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look how big one of these marks over here are, compared to how little these marks over here are gonna be, you know? So how far, like about a third of the way? Yeah. A third, I, third of the way what left? 
So two thirds light. And yeah, about a third of the way. That's a good good uh, estimate. And then those same blues that are being used in the water to be used in the sky. The, so the, the sky thing. is going to have a change. If you can see that, there are two different blues. One's cobalt. The other one is I forget cerulean. At some point they will blend, but the best way to do that is with more white. Now, actually, we got three cups, three uh, tubes of white because it, it tends to go fast. Um, feel free to use white and water to blend all this. It's, you don't need a lot of blue paint. And it's just a simple add on top and spread around. <laughs> so what's, uh, what's good with Irish music? What's your favorite? Do you have any uh, things that you listen to consistently? I like the Saw Doctors. Saw Doctors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Never heard of them. But I will certainly give them a listen. I love <laughs> new music. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll be able to see live music. Yeah. Ray and I are both cel celebrating our fully vaccinated uh, date today. Yes. So that's why we're in person. Exactly. Usually I bump into you at the Celts. <laughs> yeah. All the right. Irish Network went to the Celtics one year. Who did? This this group. Oh, nice. Yeah, this one. Okay, I'm just giving you a little progress on mine. It looks so blue on the screen. I hope that's just uh, what I'm seeing here. But okay, so as you can see, the water on the bottom Yours still is looking much better than mine. Now. Choppy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get everybody there. Choppy short lines, wide lines. And the sky itself, we have one blue, two blue, and they just have a smear. They just blend it together with white. All right. I'm going to need more white. Yeah. All right. So just heading back to my blues and my whites, and I'm still going. So how long were you in Ireland when you were there? Me? Yeah. My husband's family's there, so we go a lot. Yes. So it's been two years, so we haven't been in a while. Usually it's about two weeks, ten days. I think, uh, actually, I don't know if everybody here knows this. I think I mentioned earlier, Kate and I, old time buds. I was at Kate's wedding, and one of the coolest things I've seen at any wedding were the dancers that came out. The Irish dancers. The Irish dancers. <laughs> there is a team of girls, very, very talented. Uh, it was just so different. It's nothing I've ever seen at a wedding, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. Weddings we go to belly dancers, not Irish chicks. Because you're Lebanese, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Belly dancers are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm carrying some of this blue on the right. I'm carrying it over to the top, to the top middle, somewhere over to the left. And my sky is coming along. Oh, your sky's looking good. It's very blended. Yeah, thanks. The blend line. White. No, I definitely need brushes again. too bad. Well, we have some work to do on new lighting, don't we? Yes. Okay. Learning experience. Mm. Now, mm, okay, yeah. Anyone have any questions? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to turn it so there's no glare and uh, probably need another drink. I think you know, it's going to have to like lean forwards towards the camera to not have a glare, but mm -hmm. you see what's happening when I try that. <laughs> All right. I hope everyone's doing pretty good. Any questions uh, still? Feel free to shout them out. In the chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go YouTube. Yeah, this TV thing didn't work out too well. Um, for those, I don't expect anybody to be done with this phase of it right now, but for those that are ready to pursue or just kind of work at their own speed, the next thing that I would personally do is the white caps. So I intentionally left these areas around uh, the base of the cliffs empty in this area over here because I want to make them look like the water is crashing on them. And to do that is very, very simple. You take your white paint and you just kind of 
come up to the edges, but don't paint on the mountains, paint towards the water. And if it doesn't look like anything's happening, you gotta add a little bit more blue. And you, for the most part, want it to be primarily white. Some blue is it's gonna help sell. And you're gonna to want to start to look into covering the whole canvas at this point, making sure there are no gritty lines, there's no blank spots showing. Our next phase is to make sure that everything is covered with paint. All right, so the white, sh white cap should be uh, horizontal. Yes, okay. horizontal as well. And if it helps, you can always lift up your canvas if it's not sitting on your easel or anything, right? Still working on that yellow line. Okay. There we go. So just be cautious of which blue you're using beforehand. You can certainly still use it and add the white to it. But there's a trick we're going to do later that's going to really make it sell and look like the white caps are uh, breaking. So I think it's by adding more brown. Hmm. Hmm? What do you got? Yeah. Let's see it. Let's everybody. Yeah, I like it. Can we show everybody? This is where I'm at so far. How's everybody else doing? It's kind of hard to... It's so blue, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I need to add more uh, water, water. No, no, no. I mean, not your artwork. I mean the picture quality here on the TV. Yeah. Believe it or not, these look better in person, people. Yeah, they are. They're actually really good. <laughs> The yellow got like a weird color. What I've been doing is revisiting the blues. Like when I was on this side, I went back to that darker blue and white. And then now I'm going to go back to this to sure cerulean. Yeah, and just kind of play around with it. Sometimes I add too much white, sometimes too much blue. And now's your chance to kind of go back and forth and make it however you want. Um, what I think is a nice touch is to add these white caps around the structure here. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding dots. They're not even dots. They're just like brush marks on either side like this, just to show that the water is kind of breaking around that. You know? And um, with that said, we might need a shadow behind it too. So a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue, and you're going to add a dark, dark spot below it. I like that. That makes sense? And then I'm going to take some of this brown. Wait, remind up. Do the shadow again. Okay, the shadow. What I ended up doing was taking one of these leftover browns and blues and mixed them together. And I just kind of did this horizontal mess below the rock. Okay. Just the rock or everywhere? Just underneath the rock. And then I've actually screwed up the rock. I lost some of the details. So I'll go back with my small brush and repaint. Get some of those greens back in. Matter of fact, the green that I'm using now is pretty good. So I'm going to use it wherever I think it'll look good. It's Look at it from a distance. Oh, yeah, that's the way to do it. Oh, yeah, okay. It needs way more white. Way more white? Okay. Yeah. I'm getting nitpicky with the white myself, and I'm just going to make it look like there are little white splashes at the bottom of these cliffs here. Just using pure white, not spreading it, just applying it and leaving it. The whiter areas are going to be these little inlets, these coves kind of like where the water crashes amongst two rocks. And I think the sample might have had another wave. Like you can always just add white caps coming across like this. I picked up some brown. All right. It's a little crooked. It's because I'm painting on the side. All right. We're not too far from finishing this thing, everybody. Sweet. Um, so for myself, I've got coverage. The whole thing has been painted in every direction, except for in here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take my time now to make things better. I'm gonna make sure that the white and the brown, they look like there's a good contrast here. I'm gonna go back and revisit some of my lighter greens, my warmer greens, and make them a little bit more attractive. Try to make it resemble some kind of rock. I think what we have for the structure is good, but. Now, my personal details have to improve. Yours might not. You know, yours could be all set. 
So we're talking like with the tiny brush, using a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use all the colors that I do have, maybe some different ones I haven't used yet. I'm trying now the yellow ochre. Ooh, that's a nice good brown, I guess, tan. Let's, let's spy on Kate. Let's see how we doing. No. No? <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm taking some yellow ochre and I'm just adding these little details that look like they would be rock textures. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay. I'm still applying vertical lines and more of a tap technique because these things are just going to have some kind of texture. It's tough to get texture by blending and smoothing. Looking to push some of these contrasts. And to be honest, in terms of directions, I don't have a whole lot more. We're going to continue for a few more minutes to finesse to really make this thing come together. Um, but there aren't a whole lot more steps. It's kind of like using your judgment. I wonder if we should put on the WebEx and if people want to uh, show off their stuff. Yeah, I'll reopen the web WebEx if anyone wants to join and um, if they want to have ask questions. or It might screw up the audio, though. Should we try it? Yeah, I'll try it. Okay. i got to find the remote for this TV, though. Yeah, I lost it. I got some nice paint on the no. on the monitor. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, just seeing if we can get you guys on screen. Did I lose it? I didn't turn it. I didn't turn it yet. Just... Oh, it was on this computer, though, wasn't it? Well. Yeah, you know what? I don't think it's gonna work. Well, I got some people here. I'll just think, I can look on the screen. Okay, that works. Okay. I'm gonna shut this one off again. Maureen, you want to show us your work? No, she's no, she's muted. Okay, we'll see. I got a message here. Do no questions. I guess that's that's a good thing, right? There's some more. There's people coming in now. All okay. right, let's All see right. if people have questions. Let's hear it. Should we shut off this? The YouTube? Yeah. Nah. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. Anyone have questions or want to show us what they got? That's a crazy delay. <laughs> I don't know. All right, it might not happen, but we'll get Kate's on it. She'll figure it out. I need more green. Howard fan, show me your painting. Weren't you saying if people don't show their paintings, they're pretty much going to get fired? You know what you said over there? I want to see it. Sean? Can I see your painting? Okay, I'm coming. Ooh, can <laughs> we pop it over here so we get we can see Sean's? Oh, I don't think this one's connected to that. Oh, it's turn around and show it right in front of Oh, okay. Yeah, hold on. All right. Yeah, Whoa, hold on here. a second. I got to put it on this screen here. Yeah, my camera's not working. Oh, hold on. I can make this bigger. Oh, Howard's not working? Okay, Sean, looking good. Do you have any questions for the artist? <laughs> was he, he wants to throw it away? Is that what he said? I love it. Very nice. I don't think it's, it's too small. Yeah, it's, it's a little tough to uh, to show your stuff to the world, to put it on the YouTube for the globe to see. That delay is brutal. Wow. I guess if there's no more questions, what do you think? Anyone else want to show us their, their uh, work? Is 
that yours? No, that's Sean. Yeah. Hey, Sean, that was good. Oh, you're on mute. But you're not. You're on that one. Okay. All right. I, this thing's not working. I'm going to shut off the... Uh, I'm shutting off the WebEx because I don't... It's, it's uh, not... <laughs> It's not achieving anything. Wait, looks like okay. Forget that. Well, I'm sure this is stuff you guys can share at work, right? We're definitely gonna be posting them all on Yammer, so send them to me. Yammer, okay. We're gonna prove that we really did this. Nice. Um yeah, I guess in terms of the live feed, we really don't need to go over much more. I'll probably spend the next five, ten minutes myself to kind of fine-tune this and get it to a place where I want. You guys have all the equipment you need. You can spend hours or days working on this. It's up to you to stop when you feel like stopping. Um, you know, it's not a masterpiece, but it came out all right. I think I might add more details in the clouds, uh, work on a little bit more of the cliffs, fine tune some water, and then we'll, we're there. Um, Kate, why don't you show what you got? Okay. Yeah, I'm not done yet, but this is done. That's where we're at. And it's looking good. Nice. All right. Everybody, I don't have any more instructions, um, but like I said, you guys can continue painting on. This is a video you can revisit. You can pause, and in the comments section, there is uh, a time-lapse video that you could follow along with, and there's also a tutorial that kind of slows it down step-by-step step of everything we've been doing here today. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for your patience with our lighting challenges. Yes, I apologize for the video image quality. That will not be an issue next time. <laughs> I like State Street Bank. I like you people. This was fun. Um, <laughs> good job. All Talk. right. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.